Tobacco use is the single most preventable cause of death and disease in the United States. Each year, approximately 400,000 Americans die from tobacco-related illnesses. In addition, tobacco use costs the United States $193 billion annually in direct medical expenses and lost productivity. Because of those reasons, the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater is trying to set in stone a campus that is fair to both tobacco users and non-tobacco users. A committee on campus is trying to get the campus to go tobacco free and that has been an initiative that has been in place for a while and um, but other than that nothing has has changed. The University of Health Counseling Services view any form of tobacco as being hazardous towards your body. Whether your choice is tobacco chew, cigars, or cigarettes, these tobacco products are hazardous to the users using them and the people around them. The University Health and Counseling Services is committed to providing assistance to those tobacco users that desire to quit. If you are a frequent user of tobacco and you would like to quit, come visit the University of Wisconsin Whitewater Health Center. The Health and Counseling Services are on the second floor where the nurses or counselors are there to assist you. The Health and Counseling Services, there is smoking cessation. You can meet with a physician and talk about your addiction and hopefully um, they'll help you be able to quit. There have not been many complaints about the smoking rules. Students and faculty view the smoking rules as being understandable and fair between the users and non-users. But will these rules be altered throughout the years? Only time will tell. For UWW-TV, this is Brent Leiterman.